Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we're inside the new lockup. There we go. So I'm just gonna give you a quick um, update of what's happening. So I've been spending, I've got bags on my eyes. Tired. Um, yeah, so I've just been trying to get this ready, guys. All, all the walls have been like, trying to get painted. Um, done the floor. Well, I've prepped the floor. I've done a few time lapses. I'll, I'll put that in in a second so you can see what's what I've been doing, what I've been up to. But um, yeah, it is getting there um, slowly but surely. And um, hopefully, well, yesterday, today's obviously Wednesday. Yesterday, I managed to pick up the car. So tomorrow, I'm going to go and pick up this car on a trailer for the first time, driving into Copart to pick up a vehicle on this trailer. It's just, just got to be done. Um, see how that goes. So I'll do a little bit of filming tomorrow as well. Um, I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to um, drag it out and say that, you know, what, what car it is. I'm just going to tell you right now that it is a Fiesta. <laughs> I know what you're going to say, guys, but listen, they're bread and butter cars, aren't they? And I've got to, because I've got this unit now, I have to, you know, just keep turning them around, turning them around. I will get the odd car, different car, but but they're just they're just coming up Fiestas, and I know that they're easy sells and quick flips and all that sort of thing. So I need to sort of, yeah, I just need to, you know, as I said, I will I will get other cars, guys, like minis. I'm looking at minis. Um, Coursers, Vauxhall Coursers as well. Not, I'm not a great fan of Vauxhall Coursers, to be fair. So I don't know whether or not that'll be um, a thing. But, you know, if the right one comes up at the right money, who knows? But, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd uh, put it out there now that it is a Fiesta. <laughs> but I've just got to do it, guys, you know. I've just got to keep, keep, keep them turning around. And I think, you know, I've got a good thing going with the Fiesta at the moment. Uh, I think I'll always have a Fiesta on the go um, at one time or, or, you know, like two or three at a time, but I'll always have a Fiesta sort of kicking about. Um, I want to try and get into Focuses as well. Don't really think Focuses is like, um, there's a big market for it, mainly sort of the, the smaller cars, like the, even a Yaris, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that was just a pre-warning that that's what it is. So I'm not going to drag it out, <laughs> but I will take you along tomorrow. And what we'll do is, We'll, yeah, I'll do a little bit of filming going into Copart. I'll try and do the filming and loading the car up as well. I think I'll be able to do it, but I don't want to push my luck and I don't want to risk, um, yeah, being caught filming inside there. So see how that goes. Um, but I should be all right. And then, yeah, but that's, that's obviously, that's tomorrow's uh, episode, guys. But for today, I'm just going to crack on. I'll, I'll show you a few time lapses where I've been doing the painting. Um, we're going to hit the floor as well, so we'll do that. And then, yeah, we'll just see how far we get. But it's looking all right. Like I've, I've changed some sockets and stuff here. You can sh I'll show you quickly here, look. So I've changed these sockets for nice shiny ones over this end. Um, and that one there as well. Changed this one. Um, change these sockets as well so that they're decent. Um, done that yesterday, and yeah, done all, done most of the walls now, right round. All the walls have been done, and then we're just going to work on the floor, um, which is you know, I'm going to do a nice grey floor, so that'd be good. Um, so yeah, guys, let's just get into it. I'm gonna show you a few time lapses, me doing a bit of painting and stuff, me clearing up. Um, and um, yeah, I'll come back to you uh, a little bit later. Um, let's do this.
right, okay guys. That was a lot of painting. Um, but it's looking fantastic. I'm well chuffed with it. Um, so as you saw there in the, in the, in the um, time lapses, I showed you me doing the floors, this one and this one. And um, yeah, guys, it's really coming out well. I'm right, right, right pleased with it. Um, I know, like, obviously, that because it's paint on the floor, potentially that might not last because I'll be driving cars all over it and stuff. So, yeah, I, I get that. It might not last, and a few, few of you might say, oh, yeah, you know, by the time you drive cars over it, it's gone. Um, but I'd like to sort of start with a clean, nice, clean canvas, nice, just back to basic, and then I can... <clears throat> You know go from there got to do a little bit of white painting on those uh, brick walls here um and a little bit of uh like around here and around there so sort of just yeah just sort of cutting in uh painting along, along the bottoms but um <clears throat> overall it's pretty cool it's pretty good i like it um so yeah it's, it's surprising how much space is in here to be honest with you i want to start on this oh that wind picks up blows that, that gate shut um door shut um, yeah, surprising how much room is in here. Um, it looks really, really, really bright already. As soon as I've done the floor, like as soon as I've done that, that these parts of the floor and the walls, it just looks so much bigger and brighter. So, yeah, really, really happy with it. Um, not quite sure how I'm gonna do the racking at the moment. I've, I've found some racking in mind that I wanna get, and it's like, um, it's like an orange, is it orange and blue? Like container racking that you put up. So, thinking about putting one each side, one that side, and one that side, I think at the back, back wall, there and there, the back walls, and then all the tall boxes and that in the middle. Because, only because like the, the width, really, um, if I put racking against this wall here, and against that wall there, I won't get the cars in between the two bits of racking. So if I stick them on the back walls, one in, in each corner, then that, that gives me enough room in the whip to get two cars in it and work around the two cars as well. So, so yeah, so that's the plan for over there. Um, this side, I'm not sure what to do with this side. You know, I've got to put some racking up for some parts, bits and pieces, tools, and, and that sort of stuff. Um, so I don't know whether or not to try and come up with some another sort of bay over there for doing the um, uh, cleaning and obviously the interior and, and doing the sort of the, you know, uh, the sprucing, the making the car look nice and tidy, um, the valeting and stuff like that. Do you know, do you know what I mean, guys? But um, someone did comment in actually and said that I should do that. I should do the, do the valeting on that side, do the repairing on the other side, which I probably might do. Um, that's a good possibility that that's gonna happen. I'm um, also gonna do um, some sort of, you know, racking. I don't know, put the racking across there for for parts and stuff. Um, but I'm also gonna do some sort of like um, countertop uh, reception area where I could do all the paperwork and then when people come to, to view and, and buy the cars, it looks just a little bit more professional where you've got some sort of um, desk or sort of countertop. Um, and then obviously, you know, I can have the countertop going across and then on this side, I can have a big Resurrect logo with the YouTube stuff and all that sort of stuff on the actual part, bottom part of the wall. Um, I, think, I just think it looks, you know, I think, I think I've got a, a rough idea of what I want to do, but hopefully, um, yeah, I can work it out. <clears throat> but it's coming along nicely, guys. Um, yeah, really, I'm really chuffed with it, really happy. Um, the guy said that I can paint the gate, the, the two, the, the, the actual main doors as well, the two. Uh, barn doors, you can, I can, I can paint them. Um, put some lights at the front, uh, security, uh, not security light, uh, like, well, yeah, like flood, two flood lights at the front because, like, soon we're gonna hit the winter and the, the, the daylight is gonna just gonna go and it's gonna be dark at like four o'clock in the afternoon. So, I need some lights on the outside, really. Um, yeah, so that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna put a, a nice logo on the outside as well, so that when people turn up to view the vehicles and have a look and stuff, um, they know, um, you know, where I am and, and where to come. So, yeah, got some ideas, guys. Got some really good ideas. 
Um, I just want to address one thing that um, a couple of you um, have noticed and commented about, which was that you was asking, like, is this my full-time job? Basically, and yeah, the answer is yeah, it is. So I, I no longer have a normal day job. This is it. I'm going to make it work. Um, <clears throat> and at the end of the day, if it don't work, then I'll go back to my day job or I'll find another job. Like, it, to me, it, it ain't a massive issue um, as long as I keep covering the bills and the rent and, you know, still should be able to provide for the family and still be, be able to provide for, um, <clears throat> yeah, paying the bills and stuff. So, yeah, if it don't work out, it don't work out and we've got, we'll go back to the basics. But I just think... I just really want to give it a go and you know you guys are so supportive and you know you really want you really, really try and push me along and you you know you really try and but on the on the same on the other sense it's like um i'm try, i'm moving ahead with things a lot quicker or a lot sort of um you know a lot faster than what most people would do it but I, that's just the way I am. You, like, I just, you know, you just, you just saw me do all the painting and all the, you know, refurb of this place. But well, that's just what I do. I just like to do it myself and get involved. Uh, but I, I will need help in here eventually, guys. You know that. But yeah, so that's the kind of the, the, the obviously, you know, where we are. It's where we are, guys. Um, it's looking really, really good. I'm really, really happy with it, as I said. Um, so tomorrow is going to be a, a pickup. Uh, Copart pick up day tomorrow. So I'm gonna go and hire that, that trailer. I'm gonna go and pick that up and we're gonna go over to Copart and we're gonna pick up a car, bring it back to the lockup. Hopefully this paint will be dry on the floor. Um, and we, I could just pull the car straight in, set it up over there in the corner or this side, set it over, over here and then work out the space, work out what I've got, work out um, you know where I am with it and stuff like that. And, and yeah, just, you know, just just can't keep picking them up, keep picking the cars up. I hopefully got to sort of get get, get one or two a week now. Um, as I said to you before, <clears throat> I'm going to try and get the bread and butter cars to to, to begin with. Um, but it will, I will progress, and it, I will get sort of a, you know a few different type of cars. I want to get you know a couple of bread and butter cars to keep keep it going all the time, and then have like a, a major build. Um, on the go as well. So we've got a major build going on as well as um, a, a few cars that we're flipping and, and sort of getting getting out the door quick. So yeah, that is where we are with it all guys. But yeah, well happy with it all. So um, just want to start, you know, getting getting in here, getting, getting it set up as I want. And um, yeah, moving forward. But I just want to, again, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to, you, to all you guys subscribing and, uh, you know, drop me comments and, uh, you know, really get involved with the channel. Uh, it helps uh, massively um, me and the, the channel itself. It helps a lot. Um, really appreciate every, everything you do for me, guys. Comments and um, suggestions and support I'm getting from you lot. I uh, really appreciate it. And, yeah, may, may it continue and may we grow with this lockup, so yeah. Again, guys, listen. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch the com the content for today, um, and uh, all my content I'll put out. Uh, don't forget if you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, do as much sharing as you can. You know, like push it out there. You know, share on your social medias, share it on Facebook, share it on your Instagrams or whatever. Um, I would really appreciate it. You know, what I mean, a, a good old push for many of you. Um, and yeah, let's see, um, let's see what we get up to in the, in the, in the coming weeks. But um, yeah, it's promising, guys. I'm really, I'm really, really up for it. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you on the next one, which will be tomorrow. And um, yeah, again, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, we've got, we'll go and pick up a car tomorrow. Thanks, guys.